here we are at Grogley Woods. Just going to do a little bit of a pedal up, a few of the laps down. See how it is since the last time I've been here, which was a while, so I should be riding better if I can remember where all the trails are. Also going to try to use a drone today to see how that is, to get it to follow me down the hill a little bit, get some different angles, all nice and shiny, and ready to climb up the hill. Hell of a climb, and it's pretty warm. Not as warm as one time when I came here in the middle of summer, and it was just ridiculously hot, because this climb has got no shade. And it just goes up and up and up. But you don't have to go to the top every time, because actually, the trails come off, so you could go up once at the top and then halfway, quarter away, three quarters of the way and still have something to ride down. But going to the top to start off with, so you can do a long run down and be suitably warmed up by the time I get there. So it's flattening off, so can't have much longer to go. Okay. So here we are at the Grogley, haven't been here for ages, and definitely not on this bike. So here today, trying to find the trails I did before, down the hill, also got a drone that's supposed to be followed me down, but I can't hear it now, so I'm guessing something's happened and it's not followed me into the tree, which is a shame, but we've still got this. I've come off the trail as per trouble not going somewhere for a while is one not knowing where you're going and two if something's changed you've no idea and as I said earlier you don't actually have to go to the top every time so if you can find a bit you don't like from the top then there's no need to come back up and follow it all the way down again. On the top now, I was trying to do on the climb zone two to zone three heart rate. I'm quite tired and I had quite a big slam at bike park wheel on Thursday. So I'm riding a little bit conservatively today. This is the first one. I remember this one. Big. Just sort of like this all the way down and then getting a bit more. Oh, there's something that looks like a trail. I probably could have gone that way. Remember this now. Ah. Mm. What line did I take before? 
I think, the High Line, but we're not going to get on that now without sliding. Okay, this is stuck. So, second climb up. Hopefully, Pete's still at the top. I think he will be because the uh, drone, as soon as I went into the trees, I think I dropped it and it didn't follow me down. So, better back up to the top, see where Pete is, and uh, if he's figured it out. Then I'm gonna go down, hopefully with the drone, if not without the drone. And that top section again, pick up some other little trails. Um, go back to, down to the bottom and uh, pedal some part of the way back up to pick up some more. I think Pete is going across, following the fire road and heading out of this part of the woods into another area where it's got some blue and a couple of red trails. These are apparently black trails, which I can see that because some of the rooty bits at the bottom are pretty spicy if you haven't already um, picked out your route because you've been practicing. So he's going over there, might join him, might not, I'm feeling quite tired. As I said, the big sort of smash. I hope part well didn't help. And this is day seven of training or riding without a break so I'm feeling a bit today but that's good next week's easier leading into the southern enduro first round um, down in Col uh, Plymouth Plymouth next Sunday so this is the last sort of hurrah before that really it's quite hot it's uh, not cold like it was last week. I am sweating, but at least it's not raining. I think I cycled through some dog poo as well, but it might have been horse poo. I couldn't really tell. It looks the same sort of orangey colour. So hopefully that's not that on my face. So this is the second time up the hill. I'm gonna go again from the top, um, back down to the bottom, and then part of the way back up again. Because if I climb up that every single time, I'm not going to get much downhill today. Already I can't remember where I got lost. Ah. This bit.
another new bit. So hard with this, what trail? You know, what's trail, what isn't trail? Like, okay, if that bit's a trail, is that bit to avoid something? You don't know until you're on it. Like, that there could have been not a double, could have been a proper gap. But it was fine. Remember something like this from last time. But it's definitely rockier. So I'm guessing there's been quite a bit of erosion. I imagine this turns literally into a river when it rains. Okay, another new trail. Well, new to me. I had a chat with some people and they said they pretty much only ride from this point and there's loads of stuff that come off. I think last time I came down here, I stayed to the left. So, go down to the right. I had my gloves on then because a little bit of tree flicked my little finger like it did the other week at Woodbury. It caused that really nasty break. that southern mud after what was quite dry. Let's try this way. I was thinking of scent. I, this looks familiar, but definitely doesn't. I 
apparently there's a guy that just goes straight everywhere and I think that might have been one of his lines. This goes a lot, they're saying that there's literally stuff everywhere. What was it? It was good. I yeah. saw some straight lines in places. Yeah. <laughs> Did you come down there's like a big gully or did you go I, Honestly, way? I don't really know. No I was just going down and I was like, oh, this looks for me. And no, it doesn't. <laughs> just carry on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm forgetting now what trails I've done, what trails I haven't done. And then I see something and then I'm like, oh, that looks good, I'll go that way. And then I see something else and go that way instead. So it's literally amazing here, which is good. But uh, it's one hell of a climb back up. So it's trying to pick trails wisely. So you get a good ride down knowing that you've got to come like a mile back up the hill again. I suppose I could bring the e-bike here sometime. That'd be good. That would save my legs a little bit. Perhaps during the season, that would be a good idea. So I still get some decent descending in, but I can save my legs a little bit in between races. I wonder if the camera can see that tiny little bird just hopping around in there, listening, thinking, I hope she goes away in a minute. This bit's really horrible as well. I don't to go down that. It's a shame. Where I actually wanted to end up was over there. But I am getting irritated and I'm clearly too tired now. So all that's going to happen if I do any more riding is I will crash again. I don't really want to do that. Um, especially in case I do have mild concussion. I don't really want to hit my head twice in two days. I want to be racing next weekend, so I think we'll just go back to the van, get changed, have a little chill out, and wait to see. Hey, 